I'm Sky, and this is my friend Mia Magic. She's a real witch, and I'm kind of like a baby witch. Over the past few years, Mia has been teaching me how to use witchcraft to manifest things. And to my surprise, it's actually worked. For example, she taught me a love spell, and just a few weeks later, I met my current boyfriend of now two years. Today, we're in London, and we're about to put our witchcraft skills to the test. Naturally, we're both huge fans of Harry Potter and are dying to visit Harry Potter World at the Warner Brothers Studio. The only problem is that we don't have tickets, and it sells out six months in advance. But we are not going to let a muggle problem like that stop us. We are determined to make manifest our way in using real magic. We're gonna get in without a ticket. We are gonna use our magic. And it's gonna be amazing. Our hats won't fit in the Uber. Uh, yeah. What is this even made of? It's made of felt. It's very resilient fabric felt. Yeah. Here's the situation. We are on our way to the Warner Brothers studio where they give tours where Harry Potter was created. And not all of the <laughs> film was made at the studio. They also filmed it in the hills of Scotland where we just came from, actually. Yes. Anyways, we're going to the studio without a ticket. <laughs> we didn't realize that it was completely sold out for months and months and you have to book so far in advance. Which ruins the fun. Does it? Or maybe just we are terrible at planning. Well, fuck too. We are going to get in. We're gonna get in without a ticket. We are gonna use our magic and we are going to manifest the perfect cancellation and the perfect booth attendant and they are going to be ecstatic to let us in. Mia's very confident. <laughs> I am not so confident. Like, how is this gonna work? People fly from all over the world to come to this specifically. How is it that we are gonna get in with no ticket? How is it that we're not gonna get in? I have literally not a shadow of a doubt how easy it's going to be. I'm even checking again right now and it is completely sold out. It's gonna say sold out, but they don't know. How do I get on that level? How do we manifest this? What kind of spell do we need to do right now to make this happen? Well, one, we need a calming spell. <laughs> and that starts with deep breaths. Fine, yeah. take me through the deep breaths. Okay, deep breaths. And the most important part of the spell is already feeling the excitement that you're going to experience, like walking into whatever the part of it is that you are most looking forward to. It's not necessarily about like the obstacle of getting through the gates. It's about being there and experiencing the sensations and the emotions of getting exactly to where we want to go. For the next 40 minutes on our drive, Mia guided me through a five senses reality visualization spell. I was still skeptical, but if I've learned anything about magic and manifestation, the first step is to shift your energy from limitation to possibility. We can light up Harry Potter world. We can light up the wizarding world today. That's why we're going. And we can make people believe there that magic is real and we're there for that so we get to bring that to life yay yeah. that's fun there's so many people from all over the world who are going to be at warner brothers harry potter world today their experience is going to be exponentially infinitely more magical because the real witches are showing up in service you just cast your own spell okay i'm excited we're almost there oh Scottish Islands and there's gonna be Hogwarts. Right, these are giant studio lot buildings. Wait, there's a ticket checkpoint right here? Yeah, don't worry. Just okay. let me handle this. She's coming with us. Yeah. Hi. Hi, yeah. So I'm just wondering, we actually don't have tickets. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's a pre-book attraction only, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I literally can't allow you in mm -hmm. on site without a ticket. So we we just came from from like all the way from the states, yeah. and we had no idea that it books like months in yeah. advance. Well, so we literally don't like there is we don't even have the capacity to make bookings here. Oh, so you don't. there's like no chance. So the only thing is if there's tickets available on the website. Like if someone made so a cancellation. Made a cancellation, so it's worth having a check. If not, then unfortunately there's literally nothing we can do whilst we're here. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> we literally got denied at the first point of entry. They wouldn't even let us through the gate at all. That's the way the world works. You need tickets, and we don't have them. We haven't given up hope. 
We're at a nearby cafe. We've just been refreshing the page over and over to see if anyone cancels any tickets open up, but I don't know if that's even gonna work. So I'm gonna try calling the studio that just opened and getting on the phone with someone to see if they have any cancellations that we can just slip into those spots. I think it's gonna work. We, I don't we know, know we're going, so. It seems like it's not. Mm. It's not being skeptical. Okay, we're gonna try. Over the phone. Okay, great. I can give it to you right now. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much, Melissa. We got them. How did that happen? We did it. We did it. We did it. I just called and I just talked to the girl, and she was so nice and she figured it out. We have Hallelujah. To go. We have to go. We have to go. Oh, now. right now? Yeah, we have to go now. Okay. I can't believe we did Miracles. it. Miracles. Miracles. We have the tickets. I have the tickets. We did it. We're really? going. We're going. Magic is real. What do we tell you? Shout out to Melissa, yeah, at, Melissa Warner at Warner Brothers. She yeah. was an angel. She found an open tickets from a third party that just had them available. And I was like, oh my God, I literally am going to kiss you right now, Melissa. But now we have to get there so we can make the 1030 right, tour. Fine. And we're walking through the Golden Gates. <laughs> we are here. We are in. We made it. I knew it. Oh, candy. Honey Dukes. They have chocolate frogs, birdie bots, beans, peppermint toads. Look at all of this. What kind of magic in Harry Potter is actually real to the magic you practice as a real witch? Divination. Obviously that's astrology, numerology, tarot that helps us read and understand the nature of the universe around us. Arithmancy that Hermione takes on her own, but that is an ancient form of gematria and numerology, totally real magic. Herbology, totally real magic. Pre-doctor, pre-pharmaceuticals, herbology was all the medicine that we had, super real magic. Then, of course, transfiguration has a metaphorical, true nature to it, where we transfigure ourselves. And I would say that's probably the primary flavor of my personal craft. So much of Harry Potter is actual, real magic and real teachings that have been around for thousands of years. Throughout our day inside Harry Potter world, Mia and I will be sharing more about how the magic within Harry Potter actually applies to real magic and witchcraft, because the wizarding world is actually far more real than we think. Potions and all these jars are filled with all different kinds of plants and leaves and herbs. Blue lotus is used for dreaming and for activating your third eye. Marshmallow root is great for your gut. Potions are so much simpler than we think they are. Snape talks about it being a subtle art and the exact science of potion making, and it absolutely can be that. Even making a tea is a potion. Potions are so much simpler than we think they are. We can also make potions with the types of herbs and plants that we receive for a specific purpose and intention. In Harry Potter, they have mugwort. Exactly. And that's actually great for lucid dreaming. Plants have so much more magic than we remember in the modern day. The real magic of herbology is recognizing that before we had chemical medicine, all we had for medicine was plants. Herbology is really just like OG witchcraft and magic and healing medicine. Right in here is Dumbledore's office. There's Fox, the phoenix. What is the phoenix when it comes to real magic? The phoenix represents the parts of us that we're willing to let go of, right? Like the doubt or the fear or the smallness or the shame or the guilt, whatever we're willing to let die. Sometimes in order to heal those things, there's a lot of fire involved. There's something that feels like destruction. And when we let that fall away, what rises from the ashes is the phoenix, is something new, is a version of ourselves that has been reborn and gets to be an even more powerful, magical version of who we've always dreamed we could become. Do you practice 
dark magic as a witch? Never. I don't engage in dark magic. The only time I accidentally did, it did not turn out well. And if you do magic that has anything to do with the outcome of any other person's life, include wanting to help them heal. If you don't know what their karmic path is and you place so much energy and tension in the direction of changing something about another person, even if that's their mental or physical well-being. Unless you have Exactly, unless you have consent, unless you've been asked to say prayers or you've been asked to send healing blessings. When you taught me love spell, yep. not so someone else would fall in love with me specifically, it was about self-love right. and attracting the vibration of partnership. And it worked. I'm totally. still with my boyfriend almost two years later. Are you kidding me? We're not kidding at all. That is kind of terrifying. I like it, but whoa. Well, I'll take all the diamonds and emeralds and we'll redistribute them across the world and reforest this entire nation. How about that, sir? What do you think? Okay, great. Just letting us in, let's go. Here we are at Gringotts and this is a perfect time to talk about money magic. How do we use real magic to manifest more abundance, Mia? There's so many ways. You can use specific plants. You can use actual magnets. You can put magnets around places in your home. You can add them to spell jars, to candles, donate money. Honestly, giving money, being a, a cyclical generator of abundance for other people is also a great way to keep money flowing into you. One of the ways that I really love to do it is with decor, with color magic, with creating a space that makes you feel really abundant and then considering and thinking about all the things you want to do with that money. And just like we manifested being here today, drawing in the feeling of what it's like to have that abundance or to feel that sense of safety financially. It's really just a physical representation of the energy that you're cultivating. We have to actually understand where our money blocks come from totally. and heal them before we can manifest more. Yeah, because we're, we're so operating in scarcity, it's really hard to generate abundance. Eradicate scarcity from within, you will then experience abundance all around you. It's the money. All of this in real life is just making my inner child so happy. I'm feeling the feeling that I we know. felt in the exactly. car. Exactly, <laughs> that's right. It is so visually beautiful here. It's like I'm on a film set because we actually are. Like this is where they made the films. This is the film set and we are in Diagon Alley. It's Ollivander's. What yes. about wand magic? This kind of wand is about directing energy, right? It's about an extension of yourself the same way that the hat is. There is another type of wand we consider to be like the masculine member, and you can really use that for a lot of magic as well. You can turn it into a wand of light, a beacon of healing. That's one of my particular favorite versions of wand magic. <laughs> Whoever, it, Melissa on yeah, the Melissa team, on the team. she's the one I called who gave us she the tickets. Us. We're so grateful. We yeah. had the best time ever. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> How rare is it that we got tickets? Oh, very rare. They're normally sold out six months in advance. It's real magic. We actually did it. <laughs> we manifested it. <laughs> Just a little bit of magic. Mm -hmm. We did it. We experienced Harry Potter world today and we created it. So if you've ever doubted your own powers, let this video be a reminder. Magic is real and anything is possible. And that's it for this episode of Sky Life. We love you guys so much and the adventure continues with this incredible music in the background. Yeah, right. So cinematic. So cinematic. Plus. Ah. And see. <laughs>